I'm going to do my world premiere today of a vocalese that I've written uh, that is um, to the tune of Charlie Parker's bebop classic, Scrapple from the Apple. Now, uh, my source material for this, because this is actually a historic lyric, so it was this incredible biography called Kansas City Lightning uh, by Mr. Stanley Crouch. Beautiful, beautiful book. And I really focused on Bird's arrival to New York City from Kansas City and the moment when he galvanized the jazz world with a solo that not only got broadcast, was, uh, was seen by the patrons at the legendary Savoy Ballroom in Harlem, but it was also heard on the radio. Um, and it's when he made his mark. So um, that's what we'll be hearing about today. So I'm going to get started. This tale will tell how Charlie Parker revolutionized this musical jazz. Soon as they heard him, people stopped, jaws dropped, and with every phrase, this cat could set the planet ablaze. Though he was born in Kansas City, we all knew that he would end up in New York. When he was 12, he got an ax, a sax, destiny fulfilled. This prodigy was naturally skilled. Big in the blues, it shouldn't be news that he would choose to practice for hours. He was working on his chops. He was paving the way for bebop, you see. And everybody can agree we're indebted to Charlie and Dizzy. And by the time that he was 16, he was known in the Kansas City club scene. Though people called him a dropout, no doubt. By then it was so clear that he would have a brilliant career. Now when he arrived in the scene in Harlem, New York, Big Apple folks grew weary cause his cat was kinda scary When he picked up his horn, his plan was sublime Man in triple time And all the hep cats hanging out at 52nd Street They heard the bird, spread the word, played it tight He was so out of sight They say his horn took flight and went and spent the night in Tunisia Jay McShan, he was the man who gave a hand to Charlie Said, why don't you come tour with my band? And together they hit the Savoy, what joy, Bert solo on Pyrrhic, he brought the crowd to ecstasy, make no mistake, this was his big break. On the floor, the couples dancing and romancing found the sound completely entranced, then was enhanced when they could view the man who was the greatest saxophonist that we ever knew. So <laughs> This tale to tell how Charlie Parker revolutionized this musical jazz. Soon as they heard him, people stopped, just dropped, and with every phrase, this cat could set the planet ablaze. Though he was born in Kansas City, we all knew that he would end up in New York. When he was 12, he got an ax, a sax, destiny fulfilled. This prodigy was naturally skilled. Digging the blues, it shouldn't be news that he would choose to practice for hours. He was working on his chops. He was paving the way for bebop, you see. And everybody would agree we're indebted to Charlie and Dizzy. And by the time that he was 16, he was known in the Kansas City club scene. Though people called him a dropout, no doubt, by then it was so clear that he would have a brilliant career. And he did.